Hey, Rob here. For a while, I'd been searching for software to allow me to switch between my TV and monitors with hotkey support. A monitor profile switcher does just that at the touch of a button. It can handle multiple displays, different resolutions, and refresh rates. Basically, any monitor profile in Windows. So, if for example you've got a TV and monitor, you can switch to the other with the previous one turning off. Sounds simple, right? Well, this is not something conveniently supported in Windows when you need multiple resolutions and refresh rate options. To get started, download the zip file from the link below or find it in Google. Monitor Profile Switcher requires .NET 4.0 framework to be installed. If you don't already have it, I've linked the installer for that below as well. Right click and extract the contents. Place the folder somewhere where it will be left alone. Click the Monitor Switcher GUI EXE file to start the program. Nothing happening? That's normal. You'll find it in your system tray icons. Click the monitor icon to get started. I'm going to show you a simple example of how to set up two displays. But you can create multiple profiles and set a hotkey for each. Start by creating a profile for each display you're going to use. Right click on the desktop and choose display settings. Here, one display is a Full HD LG monitor and the other is a 4K Samsung TV. Press identify to show the display number Windows has assigned to your displays. I'm currently using the LG. For the first display profile, I want Windows to only output display to the LG monitor. To do that, change the multiple display setting to only display on the correct number and accept the changes. Now I want to check this display is running at its native 1080p resolution and 60Hz refresh rate. To check that, click Advanced Display Settings. Choose the correct display. Here it says it's 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. Refresh rate is 60Hz. All good. If yours isn't, you can change it by clicking Display Adapter Properties and minimizing the current window. Click on the Monitor tab and refresh rate is listed there. For more display controls, go to your Intel, Nvidia or AMD graphics control panel in your system tray icons. There, the resolution and refresh rate can easily be changed. Ok, so my first display is ready. Return to Monitor Profile Switcher and save this profile. Name it something that works for you. Now I just need to set up the Samsung TV in the same way. If I turn on the TV, nothing will happen, since the display is set to show only on number 2. But since we've already saved this profile, we can now change these settings. The Samsung TV is display number 1, so I'll change to that now. Here I can set the resolution to 4K if needed. Going into advanced display settings, the refresh rate for the Samsung TV has been set to 30Hz as default. But this TV supports 60Hz, and that's what I want. I can change that in Display Adapter Properties or my NVIDIA Control Panel. Everything is set, and I can save this profile. Now that I've got my two display profiles, I just need to set the hotkeys I'll use to switch between them. Go to the Monitor Profile Switcher icon, set hotkeys, and choose the current display you're on. I never use the page up and down keys on my keyboard, so I'm going to use those. For the LG monitor, I hold the page up key and select OK. For the Samsung, I'm going to hold the page down key and click OK. You can use any keys or combination of keys which suits you. Once you've got your hotkeys, Simply press the one you want to switch to, and that's it. For me, it takes about 4 seconds for the display to fully switch from one to the other. If you wanted both displays at the same time, you can follow the same procedure and create another profile where both monitors show display and at the resolution and refresh rate you're happy with. But we're not finished yet. This program doesn't run automatically when Windows starts. We don't want to have to manually run it every time we turn on our PCs. So, we can make Windows launch it on startup. Press the Windows key and the letter R to open the Run dialog box. Type shell colon startup and press Enter to open the startup folder. Go to your monitor profile switcher 
and right click, copy the GUI program file. Then go back to your startup folder and right click paste shortcut. That's it. Every time you turn on your PC, Windows will now automatically run Monitor Profile Switcher. A very easy to use program to switch between profiles. But I'm sorry to say, for audio, you're still going to have to manually switch the source if you need to. But at least this takes care of half the battle. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. Stick around for more in the future. See ya!